I want to eat local, but what do you do in the winter? Do you have any ideas? So you want to be a local hero? In the winter months, what you'll be eating depends on where you call home. If you live in a place like California, Chile, South Carolina, or the Caribbean, where the growing season is year long, being a locavore is a snap. But if you live here, maybe at the North Pole. Eating locally in winter can prove a bit, well, tricky. But even you northern dwellers can eat the best food in town. You won't even have to club anything to do it. And besides, who needs out of season strawberries when you've got ripe, luscious rutabagas? Here's a reason to eat local. An article published last year identified that 11% of the food system's overall contribution to climate change was from transportation emissions. A local diet would eliminate a substantial percentage of that. Our processed food travels at least an average of 1,346 miles, and our fresh produce in most regions of the country logs between between 1,500 and 2,000 miles. Just beat it. By going local, you'll ease up on fossil fuel use, which helps the climate. You'll also eat healthier, fresher food and keep your money in the community. So how can you do it? If you're lucky enough to have a year-round farmer's market, that's the obvious and easy choice. Another good route is to subscribe to a community-supported agriculture program, or CSA. Some are seasonal, but some are year-round. And once you subscribe, they drop high-quality, locally-grown, affordable produce right in your lap. Local farmers are the perfect source for produce, such as winter squash, carrots, potatoes, onions, garlic, apples, beets, and turnips. You can find your local farmers here on localharvest.org. If you can't find a farmer's market near you, you can shop at your local natural food store or co-op grocery. They will probably source local farmers. Ask at the produce counter. If none of the steps above work or entice, switch your winter focus from producers to locally owned grocers. In our megastore world, local food chains need your allegiance. Once you've loaded up on local goodies, try freezing or drying some of them. That'll last you through this winter and winters to come. In the summer, we'll talk about the lost arts of canning and pickling. Lastly, remember that stocking up the pantry means you take fewer car trips. Driving less is a very fine way to reduce your winter impact. Happy rutabagaing! Leave your favorite local food tips and recipes in the comments down below. Thank you, Gwen, for the bonus info on how to save money on our heating bills in winter. Thick drapes are a really awesome, easy, inexpensive idea. And a shout out to you, Lap Outlander. Thanks for the indoor caulking information and tips. That's gonna save us some money, honey. And a holla to Ender101 on YouTube, who keeps their heat at 58 all the time and knows the beauty of wearing lots of layers. You're a better man or woman than I. Good on you.